There exists a mysterious and wonderful connection between human DNA, pine cones, pine trees, the pineal gland, and light. Us humans not only share some of our DNA in common with pine trees, but some species of pine trees have been identified as the largest genome to be sequenced. Where the human genome has 3 billion base pairs, a pine species has been shown as having 22 billion base pairs, which means a pine species has more than seven times the amount of genetic material. These pairs form sequences called genes that then direct the cells to make proteins. Indigenous peoples have used pine needles and pine bark for at least hundreds of years, and many people around the world continue to use and research the pines. Powerful beneficial compounds found within both needles and bark are why the indigenous have used these in the winter to support respiratory and immune function. The pine bark is what the Iroquois gave to Jacques Cartier's critically ill crew back in 1536 to provide the vitamin C that they needed at that time. Pine bark also contains compounds called oligomeric proanthocyanidin compounds that function as powerful free radical scavengers. These OPCs are known to positively influence hemodynamics, which is how homeostatic processes in the body affect the dynamics of blood circulation and cardiovascular function. Other species of pine are nature's highest source of phytohormones, brassinosteroids, and phytoandrogens. These compounds support hormone, endocrine, and adrenal function without over or under stimulating the human body. The unique molecular structure of these powerful plant compounds and others like auxins and cytokinins influence growth and the light response in plants, as well as trigger strong bioactive responses in the human body and stimulate the expression of genetic material relating to longevity pathways and innate immune cell activation. Pine pollen is nature's highest source of these phytohormones and contains over 200 other bioactive nutrients in it. The Mickey Mouse-shaped pollen grain is a single living plant cell, and the two ears capture air and help carry the pollen grain. The complex sugars, which are also known as polysaccharides, along with the strong antioxidants, protect the pollen's DNA against radiation and environmental damage while floating through the air. Once the grain lands on a pine seed, it must stay attached to the seed with its germination filament for one full year. Then a second burst, the following year, leads to the transfer of its DNA. Within the pollen, there is an abundance of amino acids, vitamins, minerals, phytoandrogens, and other nutrients that stimulate rapid anabolic growth through this second year burst. While many pollens act as irritants for many people, pine pollen from the ponderosa and lodgepole species rarely reacts negatively with humans and have been used in traditional Chinese medicine for at least the last 2,000 years to support healthy reproductive and libido function in the human body. Pine pollen is also nature's highest source of DHEA, dehydroepiandrosterone, which is a sterone that both male and female hormones can be created from. This is commonly known as the youthing hormone, and has been studied extensively for its relation to the brain, mood, outlook, and neurobiological phenomena. The scientific journal Nature published a shockwave paper showing what happens to the human brain when DHEA is present, and showed that compared with placebo, DHEA reduced activity in the amygdala and hippocampus, enhanced connectivity between the amygdala and hippocampus, and enhanced activity in the RACC, rostral anterior cingulated cortex, DHEA reduced memory accuracy for emotional stimuli, and also reduced activity in regions associated with conjunctive memory encoding. The implications of the results of this study showed that DHEA supported healthy activity in regions associated with generation of negative emotion and enhanced activity in regions linked to regulatory processes. In other words, the ability to process emotions in a balanced and healthy way was positively influenced. DHEA is also known as a strong compound in its ability to stimulate two important neurotrophins, known as nerve growth factor, NGF, and brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF. The activation of these receptors regulate the healthy production of new neurons and the maintenance of existing neurons, and their axonal and dendritic connections. 
Ample production of NGF and BDNF in the human body supports the biological functions of increased mental and physical energy levels, muscle strength, immune system function, and metabolic functioning. Because the pollen comes from the pine cone, its symbolic connection to the pineal gland and spiritual traditions is fascinating to many. The Fontana della Pina at the Vatican shows a pine cone that many believe represents knowledge about the pineal gland. The pineal gland produces melatonin and helps regulate circadian rhythms and cycles of light based on photons hitting the retina of the eye and stimulating a sequence of various electrophysiological effects. The pineal gland has also been shown to have an intimate connection to the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, HPA axis. Thus, pine pollen's unique combination of nutrients and phytohormones that functionally stimulate the brain makes this a highly prized and valued food source. One particular source of the pine pollen is raw, living, and doesn't have its cell walls cracked. In pine pollen nutrient preservation and maximization, it should be kept raw and alive for the most potency of the plant compounds. This particular source also uses an extraction method that isn't being used anywhere else in the world and produces a vibrant golden yellow color that showcases the abundant living compounds within the pine pollen. If you're interested in this pine pollen, please check out the description.